So here we're just cooking the noodles. We're gonna make um, a fried Asian noodles, like a chow mein, um, with our leftover turkey from last night, from our Thanksgiving dinner. It's actually Thanksgiving today, but we just celebrate it one day early. So, so just cooking these, um, you can use different types of noodles. You can use like sort of the yellowy egg noodles, um, rice noodles. This one here is, um, this is the packaging for it. So this is something called yet gami. So it's called yet kamin, I guess. <laughs> um, and yeah, so they come in these boxes. I think they're about maybe two bucks or so a box. They come in two packs and I have one pack here and this should be enough for three adults and my daughter. So yeah. And once the noodles are done, I do, I'm just cooking them as per the instructions on the packaging. So usually they say cook for seven to 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna cook them for about eight minutes or so just because I still have to stir fry them afterwards. So I don't want them super soft. All right, and then once they're done, I'm going to just drain them and then we are gonna fry them. Okay, so we're gonna start frying the noodles or like the veg and stuff for the noodles. So I just put some oil here in the wok. And we'll just fry that up for a little bit. You can add any vegetables that you like, really. Um, just like the color of these. You can even add um, egg, like fried eggs, and cut it up into shreds like that. If you want some yellow in it, or add some yellow peppers or green peppers. So once it starts to look like it's getting a little soft, I'm going to add in the meat, the turkey. Um, and depending how thick you cut it, the thinner, the quicker it's going to soften up, obviously. Technically, you can eat all this stuff raw anyways, right? So. So we have the leftover turkey from last night. And my mother-in-law shredded up already for us, so yay, you don't have to do that. <laughs> so it's all cooked, obviously. Um, we're just really heating it up. So we don't want to put it in too early because then it might get really, really dry. So, more here. Obviously, you can substitute turkey for chicken on you know, every day, every night meal if you don't have turkey. But you have tons of it. One way to use it. Add the noodles. And just cut and drain. Um, depends on your preference. Some people even use chopsticks um, so the noodles won't break. So it really depends on what noodles you're using. So you can toss them evenly. At this point, I'm just gonna add my sauce and I will list what I added into the sauce so you guys can see. And the one thing is I did add some chicken stock to it. I don't usually add chicken stock to like a sauce I'm going to um, stir fry. The reason I added that was because of the turkey. Um, otherwise it might get really dry so I thought some stock might help keep it juicy or juicier. Like that. The turkey was a little drier this year. Oh. Yeah. 
unfortunately. So because now it looks super wet, obviously we're gonna to have to um, stir fry until it's a little more dry. So again, totally, you know, your preference. If you like it wet kind of noodles, go for it. Um, but if you want it a little more on the drier side, and you can just cook it down. I'm just going to add my green onions and my egg white. Kind of looks funny with egg white, but that's okay. And really, we did, I didn't want to add the green onions early on only because um, of the color. It kind of you know, retains its nice green color when it's not cooking for so long, so that's why I did that. But if you don't really like eating like the raw sort of green onions, again, feel free to add it in the beginning with your onions if you want it to have more of that aromatic kind of um, dish or noodles. Great. So I'm just going to cook it down and then I'll plate. <laughs> 